A quadruple threaded Acme stub screw with a nominal diameter of 2 inches is used in a jack having a plain thrust collar with a collar diameter of 2.75 inches. The friction coefficient is 0.1 for the threads and the friction coefficient at the bolt bearing type contact between the rotating nut and the collar is 0.04. If the jack is being used to lift half of the weight of a 3600 pound car, what is the starting torque for raising the car and is this jack safe for keeping the car elevated? This is the third example for the Power Screws main video. Links to the previous examples in the main video are in the description below. Using the expression that we derived in the main video to calculate the torque required to raise a load, we see that we need to find the lead for a quadruple threaded screw that has 4 threads per inch, or in other words, a pitch of 1 fourth of an inch. We also need the mean diameter, which can be found using the same reasoning from example 1 and 2. The angle alpha is that for an Acme profile, and the load, friction coefficient, and collar diameter are given. As the input torque is generated on the nut, the torque has to overcome the friction between the nut and the collar, and the friction at the threads to raise the opposing load. This torque is equal to 563 pound inches. But do we need to impart a torque in the opposite direction to bring down the car? The load that is pushing linearly on the screw is the same, and the friction that needs to be overcome between the nut and the collar will not change either. However, because of the high value of the lead and the low friction between the threads, and think about the free body diagram that we use to derive these equations, so again, high lead and low friction coefficient, mathematically, the torque required to lower the load is negative. This means that the slope at the threads is too high and the friction too small so that any load will push the jack downward without requiring an external torque to lower the load. This means that the jack is not self-locking, which would be unsafe to bring up the car and keep it there without having an external torque applied to it. Thanks for watching.